சார் ஹியர் இஸ் யோர் டீ ஹியர் இஸ் யோர் டீ வித் சுகர் தென் நம்பர் ஃபோர் டீ வித் சுகர் நம்பர் ஃபைவ் டீ வித் சுகர் அண்ட் நம்பர் சிக்ஸ் டீ வித்வுட் சுகர் அண்டு சார் திஸ் இஸ் யோர் டீ நோ ஹெவ் டு கோ தேர் அண்ட் தென் கிவ் இட் டு ஹே ராஜு எஸ் சார் வாட் இஸ் வாட் சார் It's a 4 inch glass, tea less by an inch and no sugar at all. Listen buddy, I come to work and leave office on time and I don't waste my time at all. Then why do this to me? Sorry sir. It's my fault. Ghost Babu's tea without sugar, I've given it to you. You give tea without sugar and less tea, I got my salary and I'm paid less and my wife takes it out on me. Hey hey, come on, here's your tea, take it. What's the matter buddy? Why are you so tense up from the morning, huh? No gosh babu, it's not like that. My wife is aware that I've got a raise this month and she planned for shopping. Oh, oh. I opened my envelope and my salary is cut. My wife thinks I've hidden the money. I couldn't sleep the whole night. You see, that's the case with all of us. Listen to this. My son work for a big company uh as a contractor for them. It was a contract for 2 lakhs, you know. and at the time of payment 2000 rupees was deducted hey gosh babu one of my fixed deposits matured yesterday but the bank has deducted 10% and then credited my account i need to go and clarify this tomorrow no wonder am i forced to think my tenant after taking the new contract deducted 10% from this month's rent citing it was for tax when i asked him he said it was tedious what else can i say buddy with our meager paychecks it is difficult to run a household that's why We need to work as a broker here and there. Listen to this. Two days back, a company, uh, while paying commission, has deducted 10% TDS. Wait, wait. It's really surprising. For Ramesh, the bank has deducted 10% as TDS on interest paid, and the same bank for my fixed deposit has deducted 20% from me. I don't understand. What is this, yar? If it goes on like this. I'll have to perish and God will strike out my name too. Hey hey it's not like that. My pay too has been cut for years. Okay tell me something. What's all this about deduction from our salaries? This is income tax law. Based on your annual income an average yearly tax is calculated and deducted from your monthly pay. But TDS hasn't been deducted till now. Because your income was below the taxable limit till now. You see Those of you who have salary income above the minimum taxable limit income tax is deducted on their incomes according to IT Act section 192A Since your pay has increased now your yearly income will exceed minimum taxable limit That's why tax has been deducted on your extra income It's not just that as per section 192 1A other tax benefits that are available to an employee tax can be deducted on such benefits too if the employer has not paid tax for such benefits when an employee is working with more than one employer simultaneously or has changed employment from one employer to another during the relevant financial year the employer will deduct tax on considering the aggregate salary from all sources and tax deducted thereon if any if any employee reports his other incomes to to his company then the company adds those incomes too to his salary and is liable to deduct tds on the total amount remember apart from loss on house property no other loss will be taken into account for tax calculation as per section 89 if an employee wants relief then bearing this in mind tds is deducted If TDS deducted from the salary is more or less then within that financial year the amount will be adjusted in any one of the month's salary. We should have been informed, right? Unnecessary problems at home. Definitely you will be informed. Any person or institution deducting TDS from you at source will issue a TDS certificate to you. All the details in the TDS certificate should be filled in your tax returns. and then on your tax liability this amount will be adjusted please write the 10 digit tan number legibly at the appropriate place every deductor is required to obtain a unique identification number called tan number which is a 10 digit alpha numeric number for tan please apply in form 49b
on the pretext of tedious what if more money is deducted no no listen in such a case if your tax liability is lesser than the tds deducted then the income tax department will return the extra tax deducted to you with interest if you want to know whether the tds amount has been remitted you may verify by visiting the income tax website in every 3 months various facilities relating to tds are available on portal traces of the income tax department to avail the facilities of this portal one has to register on the site www. tin-nsdl.com or www.tdscpc.gov.in after that the user can log into the portal and avail the various facilities it is mandatory for government offices companies and such individuals whose accounts are required to be audited as per provisions of section 44ab and those having more than 20 employees from whom tax is deductible to file tds statements Deductor can avail various facilities like viewing chalan TDS or TCS credit form 16 or 16A 27D 16B justification report online correction etc using this portal taxpayers can log on to this portal and obtain information like TDS or TCS deposited by deductor advance tax self assessment tax refund and other relevant information accounts officer can register on to this portal and view specific tan statements and can obtain information about ddos from dashboard facility provided therein in fact as per income tax act for different income specific rates of tds are deducted by the payer in cases when tax is not to be deducted or a lesser tax rate has to be applied then you must apply to the concerned department or else in case of certain incomes you may submit form 15g or h to the payer what is that if you feel and you can prove rightfully that tds deductions will be more than your tax liability then you may as per section 197 in form 13 you can apply to your income tax officer okay these forms 15g and 15h what are those you see If your annual income is below minimum taxable limit then for TDS not to be deducted is 15G form or if you are a senior citizen then it is form 15H which you can submit to those who are making the payment to you Okay tell me something on a same nature or a type of payment do different TDS rates apply No 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 it's not like that you see on different payments different tds rates are applied but for a single type of payment only a fixed tds rate is applicable If that is true then why did Ramesh's bank deduct 10% and my bank 20% Do you have a pan No I don't have a pan because there is no necessity for it Moreover I don't have a yearly income of more than 1 lakh so my uncle said that for such a meager income pan is not required Listen as per income tax section 206AA if you don't have a pan 
then a higher rate of TDS will be deducted. Hmm. On a specific type of payment, according to law, a specific rate applicable at that time or 20%. Whichever rate is higher would be applicable for TDS deduction. Since you don't have a PAN, a 20% TDS has been deducted from you. If you receive any money, is TDS applicable for that too? <laughs> if someone gives a sum more than rupees 30,000 in a financial year, then TDS is deducted at 10%. You want to know how I am benefited? My advance tax gets reduced to that extent. The result? The entire year, I am relaxed and I am absolutely happy. Wow! Not just salary, but also on various types of payments and credits, TDS is deducted. Government of India and the state's promissory notes, schemes and bonds issued by them are exempt from any taxes in comparison to other instruments that are taxable at 10% for TDS. Individual or an HUF apart, if anyone earns interest on assets more than the prescribed amount, then 10% TDS is deducted as per the provisions. Interest limit for banks is 10,000 rupees and in other sectors it is 5,000 rupees. An individual or an HUF whose yearly transaction is more than rupees 1 crore should also deduct TDS and pay interest on it. But if their interest to be paid is an individual or an institution falling under this category, then TDS need not be deducted. Lottery or crossword puzzles generating income more than rupees 10,000, then 30% TDS is deducted as per the provisions. In case lottery winnings are wholly in kind or partly in cash and partly in kind, the deductor before releasing the winnings shall ensure that tax has been paid in respect of the winnings. For horse racing or gambling incomes exceeding rupees 10,000, then TDS is deducted at the rate of 30% as per provisions. An individual or HUF whose annual business turnover is more than 1 crore rupees or any other individual or enterprise paying a contractor a one-time payment of more than 30,000 rupees or annual payment of more than 1 lakh rupees, then a specified rate of TDS is deducted as per provisions. If the contractor is an individual or an HUA, then TDS is deducted at 1% and in other cases, at 2%. Any transporter who has PAN, then during transportation payment, TDS will not be deducted. In cases like these, the individual paying the transportation charges should, in the prescribed form within the prescribed time, give full details of the transporter to the income tax officer. Another important point is that advertising, broadcasting and publicity, catering, Carriage of goods or passengers by any mode of transport other than railways are also included in this category. For insurance commission, exceeding 15,000 rupees per annum, TDS is deducted at the rate of 5%. If any payment is made to a non-resident sports person, TDS is deductible at the rate of 20%. If national savings scheme income exceeds 2500 rupees per annum, TDS is deducted at the rate of 10%. For repurchase of mutual funds from Unit Trust of India, TDS is deducted at 20%. Lottery ticket agents, while paying commissions or any other payments in excess of 15,000 rupees, should deduct TDS at the rate of 5%. Any individual or HUF whose annual business turnover is more than 1 crore rupees or any other individual or an institution if in the same financial year in the form of brokerage or commission pays more than 15,000 rupees then he has to deduct TDS at the rate of 5% and pay the balance amount. But in the case of BSNL or MTNL's PC or franchises, TDS will not be deducted. Any individual or HUF whose annual business turnover is more than 1 crore rupees 
or any enterprise that pays an annual rent of more than 1.8 lakh rupees, then on this rent, TDS is deducted at the rate of 10% as per provision. If this rent is paid for any machinery, then TDS is deducted at 2%. If you are purchasing immovable property other than agricultural land and the consideration is rupees 50 lakhs or above, the purchaser is to deduct TDS under Section 194IA of Income Tax Act at 1% on purchase value. The amount of TDS deducted will be deposited within 30 days from the end of the month in Form 26QB through electronic payment. The purchaser or deductor does not need to have TAN. Deductor will issue TDS certificate in Form 16B within 15 days from the due date of furnishing Form 26QB. Any individual or HUF whose annual turnover is more than 1 crore rupees or any other person in the same financial year pays more than 30,000 rupees for professional or technical services, then TDS will be deducted at the rate of 10%. If anyone is paid a royalty of more than 30,000 rupees a year, then 10% TDS is deducted as per provision. If the compensation or enhanced compensation for compulsory acquisition of any immovable property other than agricultural land exceeds 2.5 lakh rupees, then TDS to be made at the rate of 10% of such payment. Remember one more point. Tax is not deducted just while making a payment. Sometimes it happens that while receiving payments, tax is deducted. Okay, what is this all about? Please tell me in detail, sir. Income Tax Act Section 206C says, if for commercial purposes, you procure any forest produce, for example, such as uh, wood, honey, leaves for rolling beeries, jewellery or car, or any mineral or scrap. When you purchase them, the payments made by you for these are tax deducted at specific rates by the seller and deposited in government tax account. Sir, do you consume any intoxicants? Why? Are these two also taxed, sir? <laughs> no, 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 not for you, not for you. Uh, thank God. Uh, commercially, alcohol purchased for human consumption, money paid for such procurement is liable for tax as per law. You see, this uh, black color, hmm. make it a little lighter hmm. and then bring it slightly oh, top. Okay. And this table. Good morning. Good morning. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> uh, listen. Uh, what you do is uh, as early as possible. Okay. Do it. Okay. okay. Please do. Yes. Tell me. What did you send for me? There is a problem, and the problem has to be solved by you. It's seventh tomorrow. It's the last date for remitting TDS. Here, my accountant is down with fever. Tell me, what shall I do? You see. As per the Income Tax Section 2011A, if you don't remit the TDS amount within the due date, you will have to pay an interest of 1.5% monthly. Okay. And not just that, as per Section 221, penalty will also be levied. Uh -huh. Now, Income Tax Office has provided online facilities for TDS remittance. Oh. And not just that, you also have facility for online quarterly statement submission. Listen. Digital signature facility allows you to sit at home and electronically file your statements. Otherwise, prepare your statement and with the help of TINFC, you can file your statement. While making e-payments, clearly mention the TAN assessment year and nature of payment. Dalan 281 In Chalan 281, remit TDS or TCS and for various kinds of TDS also use separate chalans. Decide the applicable form number and the type of statement. While writing details about deduction, TAN, assessment year, status and name and address should be necessarily filled in. While writing